yoga plus beach equals bliss. Stay tuned and we'll be right back with Pismo Beach Yoga. Hello, Slow TV here, and this is Maribel, and next to me I have Annie Hopper, who is the yoga instructor, and we are here at Pismo Beach. Hi. Hi. All right, so Miss Annie. Yes. We are here to talk about Pismo Beach Yoga. Now, what what led you, or what started your yoga journey? So my yoga journey actually began in 1993. Um, just going back a little bit before that, I was, in my previous life, I was a, an actress in television shows. Nice. And it was great. And I worked all through the mid-80s, through the 90s, and... Um, as fun as it was, it was also really stressful, and there was a lot of anxiety. What? And yeah, it was. And I always felt a little bit scattered and a little bit anxious because I was always running from here to there and dealing with. Um, th there's a lot of rejection in that business as well as the excitement of working. And in '93, my sister-in-law introduced me to yoga. She said, "Let's go. I'm going to get you on a mat." And I'd never, I didn't know anything about yoga at all. And it changed my life forever. And I knew right then and there that somehow, some way, that that was my calling. I just, I didn't know it exactly. Was meant to be. It was meant to be for sure. So at that point, I started taking classes nonstop and I started taking teacher trainings and I began with certifications to teach yoga. But I, um, I kind of just held on to that and still practiced for me. And my family and I moved to Northern California to a town called Grass Valley. And that was when I really, when I was not in the entertainment industry anymore, and when I was solely um, really focused on yoga and the yoga journey and what it can offer people, not only you know, the exercise, that's just a little byproduct, uh -huh. um, but it's really about the peace of mind and it really is very life changing. And that was when I started a business called Grass Valley Yoga. And I began just by teaching privates. I had people who had heard of yoga, wanted to practice yoga, but were too intimidated to go into a yoga studio filled with these people who knew what they were doing. And so I started teaching privates and teaching group sessions at homes and at parks and wherever anybody wanted to practice. And the classes got really full and the way Grass Valley Yoga evolved was I opened a studio. And I ran that studio for about five years. And it was wonderful. I recently sold it to one of the beautiful teachers who taught. We had eight teachers when I left, um, teaching various styles of yoga. And my family and I just relocated to the Central Coast. Nice. And here I am starting Pismo Beach Yoga. Um, I love working with people who have no idea what yoga is all about, beginners, seniors, um, people who think that they can't do it because yoga is accessible to absolutely everybody regardless of size, shape, age. Now, now as uh, do, doing yoga, what, what does it offer? So, um, oh gosh, that is such a huge question because yoga offers so much. Uh, it offers, I'll start with the sense of calm that comes about from a yoga practice. Uh, there are eight limbs actually of yoga and the exercise, the asanas, that's just one limb. There's also meditation. There's pranayama, which is breathing techniques. I won't go through all of the limbs right now, but um, I think for me, the biggest um, asset, the biggest plus of what yoga offers is a sense of calm, peace of mind, a sense of being present. So very often, you know, people text and talk to you at the same time or they are not with you when they're right. with you. And yoga offers the opportunity to unitask instead of multitask. Hmm. And it offers you the opportunity to really get to know yourself. That's great. That's great. So now this is going to go in a totally different question, but... Okay. What the heck are those names? What are the names, the positions? <laughs> Who comes up with those? Okay, so yoga, the yoga practice is a 
yoga has been around for about five, over 5,000 years. And yoga itself is a Sanskrit word. Sanskrit is the language of ancient India. Mm -hmm. And yoga comes from India. And the yoga means to yoke or to unite. Oh, okay. And so what we unite in yoga very often is our breath with our movements. Um, so all of the names of the postures are Sanskrit. And I'll give you a couple of examples. Please. So there, <laughs> so there is a, a posture called Tadasana. Okay, Tadasana is mountain pose. It's literally translated as mountain pose. It's the foundation of all of our standing yoga postures. And we stand as tall as a mountain in Tadasana, mountain pose. There's one I think you'll get a kick of called Hanumanasana. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, a lot of these postures are named after Hindu deities. And Hanuman was a, um, a deity in the Hindu faith of, it was a part monkey, part boy. Oh. And Hanumasana, the posture, is the splits. And it's because Hanuman, at some point during his journey, took this giant leap from India to wow. this island I can't remember the name of, and he was in the splits in midair. And so all of the postures end in asana, tadasana, hanumanasana, and asana is the actual posture. It's the exercise. It's the physical aspect of yoga. Wow, there is so much to learn about <laughs> yoga. There so is. It's a huge practice. Yeah. Now, how can we sign up? Who do we call? How we, can we contact you? So I, uh, my website is pismobeachyoga.com. Email address is annie at pismobeachyoga.com. And right now we're putting together classes, much how Grass Valley Yoga started before I had that studio space. Um, I have input right now from the community, people who have been asking for yoga classes, um, starting just after the first of the year. I'm kind of putting it all together right now. And I've been doing a grassroots campaign asking the community for feedback on days and times that feel appropriate. So um, that a lot of that's going through Facebook. So Facebook has a, or Pismo Beach Yoga has a Facebook page. So if you're interested in updates for classes and schedules, you can go to the Pismo Beach Yoga Facebook page and like it. And I will be updating a lot through, through that. Email is a great way for me to be in contact with people. But I'm gonna be starting out with two classes. And this is just what has been requested from the community. So one of them is going to be, it'll be an adult class, but kids of all ages are welcome to attend. So a lot of moms, stay-at-home moms or dads or caregivers, nannies, um, have requested yoga that they can do it with their kids, that their oh, kids nice. can either be a part of it and practice right alongside mom or dad or play in the sand if that's what they want to do. So it won't technically be a kid's yoga class. It'll be a adult yoga class, but we'll have a lot of patience and um, practice being present with the kids and with, with the yoga and with the ocean because we'll be doing it right here at the beach. And then there have been other people who have been requesting a class without kids. It's a totally different scenario. Uh, meditation's a little bit easier when there are no little ones around. So um, that's how it's evolving. Perfect. Okay, Andy, one more question. Yes. So the poses, are they uber hard? So um, the way I teach yoga, every posture is accessible on some level to every person. Some poses out there that you see, this, these are the poses that scare people into not wanting to practice yoga. The real pretzel-y kind of poses where you're balancing on one hand with the leg out yeah. to the side. Those are really, really hard. Um, but they're always stepping stones that lead to every posture. Practice makes perfect. Well, I don't know if there ever is perfect. I think that's a lot of expectation to put out there on ourselves, but practice makes better. Perfect. Thank you, Annie, for having us today. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. It was really nice to meet you and to, to be here at the beach with you and to share my passion for yoga. That's what it's all about, is sharing the passion and the love that I have for it. Good. Yeah.
All right, there you go, you guys. Sign up for yoga class, Pismo Beach Yoga. Outro, Slow TV. Check us out at www.slowtv.net. And the show is produced by Miranda Marketing Labs, www.mirandamarketinglabs.com.